Thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and this is a demonstration of how to use the Microbes Essentials Brush Pack for Corel Painter Essentials. I'm going to start with the first brush called Bacteria. Many of these brushes are glow brushes, meaning that they're going to build up gradually to a lighter color. So the color you'll want to choose will be a darker color than what you'd expect to get. I'm going to choose this dark magenta color, and I'm going to be painting on a new layer. I'm going to draw a very quick C shape, and you can see that I get these segmented bacteria. I'll do an S shape now, and you can see I get an S shaped bacteria. I can do a straight line down and I can get a straight bacteria, or I can tap with this brush if I want to create the segments one at a time. The speed at which you make the stroke is very important. You don't want to do it too fast because there'd be gaps between the bacteria segments, and you want something kind of like that. Let's move on to the next brush, which is called Colonies. I'm going to select a yellow, orange, brown color like this. I'll go ahead and paint, and you can see I get these colonies of microbes that are clumped together. Moving on to the next brush, we have filaments. I'm going to switch to a dark red like this. And with filaments, you just tap and hold, and just keep holding and let those filaments build up. Lift your pen up, tap and hold, and you can create this web-like pattern. The next brush is called flagellum. A flagellum is an appendage. So we'll just draw something like this, using pen pressure to taper it off. Now we have a nice flagellum. You can also tap with this to create some little spherical bacteria. Let's move on to fossilized. I'm going to select a dark gray color like this, and I'll just paint a short stroke, and that creates a fossilized bacterium. You could also draw individual segments like this. The next brush is called fungi. I'm going to pull down a quick stroke here. I'll do a few of these, and I can get this fungus-like pattern. I can have a bunch of these growing on something. Make my brush smaller, and I can have little things coming off of this. And I can make something like that. The next brush is called Helminth. A Helminth is a microscopic worm. I want to use kind of a darker blue-green color like this. And if you use light pressure, you'll get a thinner line. If you use heavier pressure, you'll get a thicker line. And you can get a nice worm like this. If you make your brush bigger, you'll get a thicker worm. If you make your brush thinner, then you'll get a thinner worm. Now you can also control the texture of the worm. You can do that using the papers panel. I'm going to change my paper to pebble board, and I'll paint a stroke, and you can see that the pattern is a bit different in the texture. Moving on to the next brush, we have mold. I think most of us know what mold is. You paint with this brush, and if you press down hard, you'll get bigger clumps of mold that are bigger spores. If you press lighter, you'll get fewer, smaller spores. The next brush is called Protozoa. These are tiny microbes of various shapes and sizes. You simply tap and hold, and that will create a random shape each time. So I'm just tapping in these Protozoa. And finally, our last brush is called Virus Cell. You just tap really quickly in one place, and then keep tapping to build it up like that, and you have your nice clumpy virus cell. Now you have to kind of find the right color here, because if it's too dark, it won't work, and if it's too light, it'll build up too quickly. So you want something that's just right. So there you go. That was a demonstration of how to use the Microbes Essentials Brush Pack for Corel Painter Essentials. If you enjoyed this video, take a quick second to click the like button, and if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more Corel Painter tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.